Come here, you guys. Come here. Come close to your phone right now. Come here. You you didn't even put your phone up to your face. Put me up to your face right now. And if you on a computer, go up to the computer. I need you guys undivided attention here. I just found out that I'm sorry to say this, but gay men are forced to watch straight heterosexual sex. All right, folks, um, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Dutch, um, the black non-democrat and from Dutch Talk TV right there. You guys can go down in the description box and always subscribe to Dutch Talk TV. That was the channel I was on for the last seven years, spitting this knowledge, baby, spitting this black knowledge, baby. And now I'm spitting this non-democrat knowledge to black people when they need to start listening because that democratic party ain't for your ass let's 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 get into today's topic yes people um gay people are they they feel that they are forced to watch um heterosexual sex um scenes and you know we just have to put a stop to this because um no 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 one should be forced to watch these scenes no one should be forced to watch this stuff in movies in in, in 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 social media on 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 television you should not be forced to watch that straight sex you you, you hold on what hold on people they i just got informed that they have a choice i i i just got informed that they 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 do have a choice to watch the the gay sex or the straight sex. Yes, yes, yes. They can watch. It's plenty of material out there on the internet and in movies that they can actually watch um, what they want to watch. Right? I mean, I, I, I believe that is true. Because someone just told me that. And, you know, I don't know how I misconstrued that point. I did a video, you guys, a couple of weeks ago. I had to do another video about that video, right? And then I got shamed for doing the other video about that video. So I had to do another video. And now I'm doing another video because somebody in my comment section and the reason I show you guys these comments on these videos is because people are hilarious, first of all, and, and people are delusional and people are really tribalistic when it comes to you know me not wanting to watch gay sex i i am i am getting bombarded in my comment section but i look i want all the smoke i want the smoke i put the shit out and at the end of the day it comes right back to me yes it do and i want it all because logic common sense and reason will always be on my side baby understand that look the thing is, you can watch whatever you want to watch. And I should never shame you for not wanting to watch something. Especially gay sex if you're a heterosexual man. And you should not be forced to watch heterosexual sex or straight sex between a man and a woman if you're a gay man. But, hmm, nonetheless, Roy E. from my comment section who has a picture of an Asian chick on his um profile picture, and I guess that's what he like. He got that right. I ain't gonna shame him for that, baby. <laughs> but he said, if it was all girls, bet no one would be complaining then. Laughing emoji. Um, us gays have endured. Woo! That that's a strong word, baby. Come on, that's a strong word. That's like that's a slave word i'm sure my ancestors don't appreciate him using that word in this context i'm i'm sorry i am so sorry the endured heterosexual films and shows growing up but do you hear us whining 
Yes, I do. <laughs> in my comment section. You guys, this is probably the most popular video on my channel or subject on my channel right now is me talking about not wanting to watch homosexual simulation sex because one guy even said, hey, buddy, you're not seeing penis going to anything. You're not seeing penis. You're not seeing butthole. It's just kissing and rubbing, man. You can't handle that. I'm like, bruh, I don't want to watch it. <laughs> like, I don't want to watch simulated gay sex. I don't want to watch it. At the end of the day, if you tell me that you don't like eggs, right? If you say, man, them eggs are so nasty, I, I just can't stand them. My body don't agree with it, right? I'm not going to sit up here and say, let's psychoanalyze you real quick on why you don't like these eggs, man. Is it a deeper reason why you don't like these eggs? Because these eggs ain't do nothing to you. These just, these eggs just has the right to exist in your belly. So why are you, why are you denying them eggs the right? They ain't do anything to you. I would be wrong. I would be dead wrong for suggesting that you should eat these eggs or, or shame you for not wanting to eat these eggs, man. And that's what I've been getting. These people have been coming there in that comment section and just, you know, going ham based off of me, Dutch, not wanting to watch a whole season of American Horror Story season 11. NYC because it is just overly sexualized from a homosexual standpoint that I'm not about to watch. Yes, sir. If they had just women on there, yes, I, I will watch it because I'm attracted to women. I, that that appeal that that's appealing to me. You see? I responded like this, you guys. And just like me choosing not to watch gay sex, you have a choice to watch heterosexual sex or not. You are choosing to watch it. Just like I chose to watch it in other AHS seasons and other shows. You really can't call me a homophobic person because I don't mind it in moderation. And yes, if it were women, I would stick around. Um, because it's obvious I find women attractive and appealing to look at. Now, watch you try to argue this logic I just bestowed upon you. That person didn't come back because I already acknowledged that you're going to argue this. And I'm sure he want to argue this. And yes, people, I've gotten called homophobic. I have gotten called gay. And I have gotten called in the closet, the called closeted gay. How, how can I be gay and homophobic? I guess you can because there's a lot of dudes out there who are on the down low. Like in the show. I, I Look, I like that storyline of how the guy was, you know, um, a, a cop. And he's trying to, you know, find find the killer and he's gay himself and he's scared of getting murdered. I got it. I get it. And I understand it, man. But they just didn't do it for me story wise. They'll have something and they'll just leave it at the end of the day, baby. Just like you guys want to see representation when y'all watch film and TV. I would like to see it, too. I would like to see a show where they have homosexual elements you can have that if you want to put some little people in there let them get represented and have black people in there sometime and at the end of the day you don't need to do these things all the time i don't look at shows where i'm like ah oh, there needs to be a black person and where a black person at oh i need a black person in this no, 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 no. When it warrants the black person, if you're doing a movie about the hood and you got all white people, I'm going to be concerned. Yes, I'm just going to be like, hold the fuck up. You can't do that. That That is straight like cultural appropriation, if any. <laughs> you're just trying to take over. You can't, you can't have that. No, you know, and I'm sure it is a white hood out there. But if you're doing a, a show about the hood, it needs to be black people in there. But all I'm saying, people, is no one forces you to watch anything. The thing is, 
It's your TV. You pay the money for that streaming service. You can watch whatever you want to watch, just like I'm not watching American Horror Story in why see y'all go down in the comment section like these guys and tell me your thoughts and if you are please stay unplugged from false narratives i'm out peace